Good morning guys, welcome back to another video with me. I wanna show you every single thing I eat today as a volume eater, how I've eaten to lose 60 pounds over the last few years, um, eating low calorie density food and massive, massive portions. I'm very excited today. I am very busy in the kitchen. I am gonna be cooking up so much good Indian vegan weight loss food for my new cookbook. And I kind of wanted to show you a little bit of kind of like what I do, um, kind of the stuff that I'm making and obviously what I'm eating today because that's basically what I'm gonna be eating all day long. So let me start by saying we are gonna be having something incredibly delicious for breakfast. It is a sweet potato chat. Now, if you guys don't know, I am addicted to sweet potatoes. Sweet potatoes, potatoes in general, are so incredible for your health and for weight loss. They are one of the starches that are super, super low calorie density, but they're also the most satisfying food on the entire planet. So if you want to get lean and be super, super satisfied, try and get as many potatoes into your life as possible. Now, potatoes could sound boring, but there's actually so many things that you can do with potatoes you can get so creative and there's basically the sky's the limit. So if you want some more potato related recipes to help you kickstart your weight loss journey or just to like get some more potatoes into your life in a really fun way, I've got my potato reset meal plan down below for you that you can go and check out. Um, anyway, we're gonna be doing potato, um, sweet potato chat today. And for that, I'm going to need one big fat sweet potato. I got this from my Indian shop yesterday. You can go and check out my grocery haul from yesterday's video. Anyway, um, I do have a ton of sweet potatoes roasting in the oven just for my general snackage. But this one I'm gonna put in the Instant Pot just to steam up because I want it to be done really fast. I've been so busy this morning figuring out all of the recipes that is gonna that are gonna be included in my Indian cookbook. And I am just so excited to eat them all. I've got loads of incredible naans and rotis and just like, mm, so much good stuff. Um, anyway, yes, let's, let's do this sweet potato. Now, I don't really know how long to put this on for. I usually do 10 minutes for small sweet potato, but that never really does the trick. So I think I'm gonna go for 15 minutes and then we'll see what that's like. I decided I want to see what one of these sweet potatoes is like steamed as well, so I'm going to add that in. Okay, for lunch today, I'm going to be doing another wrap, and I really wanted to do like a pink beetrooty kind of style wrap uh, with my leftover onion bhajis from yesterday that were incredibly delicious. So um, I'm going to be doing a mole dal wrap. Um, so I'm just going to soak these babies for a little while, uh, just trying to think in advance about what I'm having for lunch and get myself a little bit prepared. Okay, dokie. Okay, so while I'm waiting for everything to kind of be ready, I'm going to try my hand at making some chickpea naans. Uh, I am a little bit intrepid. I've got some ingredients out that I think are going to work together. And I'm going to give it a whirl and let's see how it goes. I'm not going to show you the whole process because this is just like a recipe trial for my book. So I'll tell, I'll tell you kind of how it goes and I'll let you know if it was a successful recipe. But yeah, let's do it. Obviously, the star of the show is chickpea flour. So whilst I'm making all of this yummy stuff, which I know I'm going to be snacking on later, I am going to be doing a little bit of preloading with some sugar snap peas. Um, I'm not like super starving yet, but I want to just get a little bit of munching in uh, before I move on to some other stuff. We also will crack open the ice cream from yesterday as well and see what that is doing. Oh my God, I'm actually quite nervous about this. I have no idea how this is going to go. It's risky business. So yes, if you're a volume eater like me and you also want to get and stay lean, I highly recommend prioritizing that preloading before you actually get in um, to your meal, um, just because it really fills you up on lovely low calorie density goodness um, before you start snacking on everything else. So no matter how long you've been doing this, um, you know, continue to get that preloading. Okay, it's coming together, it's coming together. Yes. Okay, for some extra preload, actually I thought I would crack open these lovely grapes. I've been really enjoying just starting my day with fruit, um, because it's just like, when you want something sweet, um, and you want to be refreshed, and you want low calorie density goodness, basically fruit is the way to go. So I'm gonna have, oh my gosh, we're gonna go for a tunnel. I don't know whether we need to eat them all, but well, we could try. Okay, okay, a mountain of grapes. I don't know how much I'm gonna get through. Let's just, let's just see, shall we? Let me know if you guys are getting bored of seeing what I eat every single day. Because um, I was wondering whether you guys would, I mean, 
Let me know down below if you like the recipe style videos so I can just do more individual recipes if that's more helpful. I don't know what's more helpful, maybe just a variety of both. Uh, but I was also thinking like maybe just some like proper sit down videos where I chat about different topics. Like maybe I chat about how to lose the last 10 to 15 pounds or something, or what are the main things to do to you know break a plateau those kinds of things. If you guys have any questions that you would like me to kind of sit down and do maybe like a sit down video about, then please leave them down below. And if you see anybody else's comment down below that you like the look of, just give it a little thumbs up thingy so I can see that that one's a popular one. Um, but yeah, I just thought it'd be nice to kind of mix up the kind of stuff that I do. Um, anyway, let me know your thoughts. Okay, so my sweet potatoes are all steamed up and I've just um, put them in this little cute Indian bowl that I have. Um, now, the rest of it is just super, super, super simple. This is actually a fantastic breakfast, lunch or dinner if you want to have something really flavorful, but you want it to be potatoes. Um, so, as you guys know, yesterday I used the chat masala stuff. I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh, that is going to have so, so much good flavor. If you have never tried chat masala, get your hands on it. An optional sprinkle of salt and some old lemon on the top as well. There we go. Oh my gosh. It kills me that I have to take a photo of everything before I can actually eat it. But we're going to try this in a second. So in India, this is actually like a traditional street food. Um, and they'll just have guys on the street baking up their sweet potatoes in like open coals, chopping them open and sprinkling the stuff on. And obviously it's just, I mean... It's an amazing experience um, and it's just a fantastic little snack that you can have in like Delhi winters or something like that. Um, but yeah, it's a really, it's a really great traditional, very, very easy, low calorie density Indian dish. It's just to give you a little idea of how I kind of take my photos. I am not a photographer in the slightest. I need to do like a photography course to get some like amazing photo tricks up my sleeve. But this is my Amy version of things. I am outside in my front garden with a bowl of sweet potato chat, trying to take some nice photos. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So I filmed everything. I've taken photos of everything. Now I really want to try this bad boy because it is so much fluffier than I ever would have expected. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> Oh, yes, 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 yes. Look how, f oh my God, that's fluffy. Mmm, 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 mmm. I didn't know chickpea flour could have this quite like cloud consistency. Wow, that is amazing. Yesy, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I love it when the recipe comes together. I've also made all of my pink wraps. Those are ready to go for later. And we can probably get into this chat masala now. Okay. Mm -hmm. You like sweet and salty. This is a fantastic combination. It's got so much going for it. Oh, wow. I mean, obviously use any sweet potato that you have access to, but I much prefer the Hannah yams. I think I'm just going to eat this for breakfast, maybe with this leftover chickpea naan as well. As I'm making recipes and doing lots of recipe testing, my meals may be a little bit more random, but I'm gonna try and give it a little bit of focus and try and have my 50-50 plate properly, but I'm about to go and pick up Rami, so I really don't have time to be honest. Hold on, actually that's a really bad excuse. I don't know why I said that. I always have time for a 50-50 plate. That is the message I wanna share with people. No matter how busy you are, no matter how little time you have, you always have time for a 50-50 plate. So let's go and do that 50-50 plate right now. Remember, it doesn't always have to be veggies. It can be fruits too. It doesn't have to be cooked. It can be fresh stuff. Okay, so I've very quickly got a nectarine, a tomato, and two carrots. Keeping it simple, that's okay. Okay, so I've got my naan. I've got my sweet potato. I've got my nectarine. A couple of carrots. Okay, and me tomatoes. This is probably very unconventional, but I'm actually fancying a little bit of black salt on my tomatoes just to give it like something extra. So there we go. If you're getting bored of your starch solution way of eating, it's because you need to add a ton of flavor. So Indian food has so much flavor in their spices. They have like thousands and thousands and thousands. So there is no reason to get bored eating this way. Indian food has really shown me the last couple of days how much flavor can be packed into like a small little bite. So don't be scared to like experiment with loads of different flavors, herbs and spices, like black salt, chat masala, those kinds of things can bring a meal to life that would have otherwise been a little bit boring. 
So get creative. Anyway, this is going to be my lunch today. No, 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 no. It's going to be my breakfast. And for lunch, we're going to have onion body wraps. So I'm, thinking, I'm excited. I've got 15 minutes to eat this. Just on our way to go and pick up Abe from school, I finished all my breakfast, although I had it like over the course of like two hours or something. I've got Rami back. She is looking very, very big there. Anyway, I've just got two little apples that we picked yesterday. I thought I would snack on them on the way to go and get Abe. It is such a gorgeous day, but Rami's been asleep for the last couple of hours and um, I've just been getting some work done, writing up my recipes and stuff. So unfortunately, I haven't really enjoyed much sun today, but tomorrow, um, I really want to take the kids out to the beach actually. Oh, sorry, I'm just walking up a hill. Yeah, I really want to take the kids out to the beach um, and just enjoy what I think is going to be the final weekend of summer. We're back from picking Abe up and I've decided it is so, so, so hot today that we need to eat some ice cream. So uh, this is actually going to be lunch and I think my wrap is going to be dinner. Oh my gosh. I was going to do a black eyed bean curry, but actually I think we've got so much to eat um, that we may as well just eat the leftovers instead. Okay, so this rock solid rock solid right so this is gonna work we're gonna whack it in here and i'm gonna do it twice on the light ice cream setting so my babies have found my sweet potatoes and so they're both diving in as you can see we are so influenced by our environment whatever they see is the stuff they're gonna eat so i don't have junk food lying around i've got you know banana ice cream banana courgette ice cream and sweet potatoes and therefore that is the stuff they eat and that is beautiful Lucky for me, I always get to eat the skin. That gives me an idea. We need to do sweet potato ice cream. Pronto. Okay, so I want to show you what happens first time round. So first time round, it looks rubbish. It's powdery in the middle, and it's kind of like, it's just, it's just not quite right. So it needs to go in for another round. I'm going to put it back on light ice cream. Ooh, let's see if it's ready yet. Okay, there we go. That is looking a lot better. Obviously, it's this colour because of all the chai. But I hope you can just see, look at that consistency. Rami, would you like some? Would you like some in your bowl, babes? Do you want some in your bowl, Lee? Okay, so here we go. Ice cream for lunch. I'm very excited. Mm. Absolutely delicious. Delicious. If you like chai and courgettes, you'll like this one. As you can see, this is a completely different texture to a banana ice cream. This is like a proper thick ice cream. Video. So gorgeous. Wow. So I'm going to take Abe out to play some basketball in a second, but first. At the mugger. At the mugger. But first, we're going to do some dinner. So I'm going to whip up a really quick kind of uh, Indian style writer. So I'm going to do a small batch. So I'm just going to do a little bit of yogurt. I'm going to do. Mama, cucumber okay so i've put in my cucumber and i'm just going to do a little bit of garlic and a little bit of ginger on my little gritty platey kind of thing not loads like half a clove of garlic and then like a quarter of a thumb of ginger i don't want it to be too crazy strong get all that goodness out hold on i'm just gonna rub some cucumber in there to get that flavor okay I'm gonna do a little pinch of salt. All right, a little bit of garam masala in there. I've got a bunch of coriander and a bunch of mint that I'm just gonna dice up nice and fine. Yes, and my lemon juice. Okay, there we go. Taste. Mm, oh wow. That is yummy, 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 yummy. I've also got leftover cauliflower rice from yesterday, so that's gonna be my non-starchy veggies. I'm gonna wipe that in the microwave. Okay, I'm going in with a beautiful pink beetroot wrap. Boom. Okay, so in the wrap we're going in. Leafies. We've got a couple of onion bhajis. I've got some cucumber and some tomato in here. And my writer. There we go. What are they doing in the back? James, what are you up to? Oh my goodness. There we go, onion bhaji wraps. Okay, let's dive into this thing. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. That is stunning. But first, actually, let me get my veggies out. I'm just going to fill this into my little lettuce. Well, half lettuce wraps. Oh, God. Jodie, mm. go for it. Let us know your thoughts. Mm. Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Yep. Go for it, boo boo. Oh my god, so close, babes. <laughs>